What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason and Joe here. Gene Clark week. We ranked the studio albums yesterday. Check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Today, we are going to give you each of our selections for our top 10 favorite Gene Clark songs from his solo career. I went first last time, so I will go first again. All right, my top 10 Gene Clark songs. Uh, number 10, going to start with Echoes. Lovely piece of Baroque 60s pop. Gene's almost just talk singing on this one. Kind of a deadpan delivery, but it's a really beautiful track. Uh, gorgeous string arrangement by Leon Russell on that one. Number nine, I'm going to go with Made for Love, which is a really strong song from the 80s. Um, you know, with different production, I think this could have been even higher on my list. Uh, great harmonies throughout. And it's got this like arpeggiated guitar part that I think if there was even more jangle on it, uh, like a little Tom Petty REM type of uh, birds throwback that they were doing in the 80s, then I think it could have really been an amazing track. Uh, number eight, I've got With Tomorrow from White Light. Some of Gene's best singing on this one, just very naked, just voice and acoustic guitar, very emotionally vulnerable. Uh, number seven, I'm going with The True One from No Other. Uh, I think this is the most straightforward kind of country rock tune on No Other. Uh, there's great piano on it, great pedal steel, and it really stands out on that album because so much of the rest of that record is very lush and ornate, and this one's a little bit more stripped back. Number six, I've got Past Addresses. Uh, the line, I can only make guesses on some of my past addresses. I think it's kind of a clunky line, but it's so heartfelt, and his delivery is really good. You can really feel his pain through it. I think he actually makes it work just by the way he delivers it. Uh, number five, I've got In a Misty Morning, a great sounding track. Uh, the fiddle, Clarence White's swirling guitar uh, just creates really great atmosphere. And it's interesting, Joe mentioned um, Cosmic American Music in reference uh, to some of Gene's albums. I have the same note written here. I think this is a really great distillation of that sound and what you know Graham Parsons had in mind when he coined the term. Number four, I've got Because of You. Uh, Gene's singing so good on White Light. I love the arrangements, the little hand percussion, whether it's uh, congas or bongos, uh, sounds great. And that swelling organ throughout is really cool. It's simple, but it's effective. Number three, going to go with Strength of Strings. Uh, the band assembled is just incredible on this track. The rhythm section of Leland Sklar and Russ Kunkel is so good. Um, and then, you, then you've got those like harmonies swirling on top with the guitars, just a really incredible full sound. Number two, I've got I Remember the Railroad, just a really great simple piece of songwriting. You've got, uh, and I'm not sure if it's Clarence White on electric guitar or if it's the pedal steel, but one of them is doing like this uh, bending that sounds like a train whistle. It sounds really cool. And I think a great example of like musicians doing part of the storytelling. And then number one, though, for me, it's going to be Sister Moon. A really gorgeous chord progression. It's played on an electric piano. So pretty. Uh, Gene's vocals, really delicate and quivering. I'm not sure he ever gave a more nuanced vocal performance than that one. And then the cherry on top is Emmy Lou's backing vocals. Just sounds great. So, yeah, there you go. Those are my top 10 Gene Clark songs. Interesting, not too much crossover. He only had one, no, two from no other. I'm going to have more than that. Uh, not my number 10, though. It is your number one. That's Sister Moon. I think it's as ornate as anything on no other, but a little more country sounding. I love the melding of Clark's tender falsetto and Amy Lou Harris's very powerful backing vocals, uh, very bewitching. And the, whole, the way that song builds, I think is really cool. Number nine, I got Lady of the North, swirling cosmic country song, flying high above the clouds. We lay in a grassy meadow. The earth was like a pillow for our dreams. It's very psychedelic, kind of 60s, hippie-ish, but uh, I love the all-encompassing organ, the wah guitars, that haunting electric violin that comes in. It's fantastic. Number eight, I got In a Misty Morning. It's a lovely little tune, a slowly unfolding intro with the crying guitar and strings. I love the way Clark sets forth. It's a really simple scene about you know, the hustle and bustle of the city and then sort of zonks out to this memory of all the stuff he had left behind. Just a gorgeous little tune there. 
seven strength of strings. Just the arrangement of it all is incredible. The wordless vocals between Gene and the backing singers, spine tingling the way they go in and out and they're just doing hymnals and, and all this crazy stuff in the intro. Uh, you know, Clark took strength of strings, the lyric from Dylan, I think he expounds upon it perfectly. Number six, I got full circle song. Uh, based on the concept of the Wheel of Fortune, um, sort of like Gene's whole life, uh, never quite got around again. Uh, but on this song, which is way superior to the Birds version, the lap steel, the bass heavy piano, twangy guitars, and just really pitch perfect backing vocals from the Brito brothers on the, if it's right, they do this really cool descending vocal part um, in between Clark's lyrics. Really great, and I think Clark sounds amazing here. Number five, So You Say You Lost Your Baby. Really interesting lyrics. Uh, it starts off with, well, you're smoldering with fly words. I don't quite know what that's all about, but he throws in all sorts of stuff. Tabernacle hillsides, wind stilts, moon trolls. It's all very ambitious, but the, the strings from Leon Russell and this high wire, like singing guitar, Really cool Baroque sounding track from his debut. Number four, Life's Greatest Fool. Kind of starts out just like a straight, you know, birdsy kind of maybe a little country on their tune. And then uh, the backing vocals come in with their Do You Believes. And it's like this great gospel tone to it. Um, you know, it's not just your ordinary country rock song. And just like one of the moments that I knew as soon as I heard it that this album was great and was going to blow my mind. Just, just from that little part, just these backing vocals that come in. Love it. Love the track. It was the first one I heard from no other because it's the first song. Um, number three, I got From a Silver File. Maybe the most straightforward rocker on the album, but I love the Harrison-like guitar solos from Jesse Ed Davis. It's a, you know, great backing vocals, choir, you know, of uh, male and female vocals behind Gene, kind of elevates it to this gospel-like tenor. And Chris Hillman's mandolin adds just enough country to it. And there's a really cool wah guitar solo and organ to close out the track. Number two, from a Spanish guitar. Uh, really love the three, four waltz time on this. Love the guitar part, just so simple, but those chords and those notes are just perfect. Reminds me of kind of what the Eagles would do later. Probably an influence on them. I think the lyrics are as close to divine inspiration as you can get. Bob Dylan himself is a big fan of the tune. And I think Clark's vocals you know, on the stripped down album, which it is from, White Light, sound you know, as good as they ever do. Just uh, really clear, focused, beautiful vocals from him. Number one, there's going to be no other. It's just this incredible mix of gospel, R&B, country, rock and roll. Um, production from Thomas Jefferson K. He wanted to be the answer to Brian Wilson and Phil Spector. Just this big, ostentatious, over-the-top, you know, symphony of noises and sounds and guitars and all this stuff. Uh, the cowbell from Joe Lala. Greatest use of cowbell I've ever heard in my life. Maybe my favorite percussion moment on any album ever. And the power in the bass and the keys is incredible. Uh, just the level of ambition required to put together a song like this is amazing. And the fact that it came out as good as it did just blows my mind. Love it. Absolutely love it. Can't get enough of that track. All right, so there you go. Those are our favorite Gene Clark tunes. Let us know what your favorite Gene Clark songs are down in the comments. Let us know what you think of our lists, what we missed. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Hit the bell for notifications. And then after all of that, check out the video description for links to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our website, uh, Patreon, and our merch store. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel, Patreon's a great way to do it. Uh, we've got several different tiers with different perks. Uh, that include helping us select one of the artists that we cover every single month. Uh, so head over there, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.